So I've got a question for you. How much effort does it take for you to brush your teeth every morning? How much effort does it take for you to get up in the morning and take a shower? You see, if you're a normally functioning human being, it probably shouldn't take any effort because these activities have become faculties of your subconscious mind. But before we dive into the subconscious mind, let's talk about the conscious mind first so we know the differences. Your conscious mind is your awake mind, your aware mind. It's the mind that consciously decides what to do. It's the mind that consciously decides what activities you're going to do today, what you're going to wear, and things of that nature. It's when you make a conscious decision, when you have to think about it, you when that internal dialogue goes off in your head, the voice. Now, your subconscious mind is the background computer. It's what's working in the background. It's what's making the decisions that you're not consciously aware of. It's what's controlling your step when you're walking. When you walk, you're not always thinking about which foot you're going to put forward next or how much pressure you're going to put on your toes or your heels. These have become faculties of your subconscious mind. When you learned how to walk, it was conscious. You had to think about everything. You always had to overthink. Think about how you're going to do it and how you're going to express certain maneuvers. But once it became a faculty of your subconscious mind, you don't think about it. Now, let's talk about success, success in life and in whatever the hell you want to do. You can't consciously have success. It's just too much willpower. You can't consciously decide every day that you're going to do this and that you're going to do that. You need to let it go into your subconscious so that it's on auto drive. You need to build habits of greatness, habits that will ensure that you get to where you want to get to in a couple of years. You need to wake up every day with the awareness, with the fact that you know you're going in the right direction through the habits that you have made by your subconscious mind. So just as easily as it is for you to brush your teeth, it's gonna be easy for you to get success. Let's say you wanna become a master piano player. You wanna be really good at piano. You wanna play at the world stage. Well, initially, you're gonna to have to practice, right? You're gonna to have to consciously will yourself to get up and practice playing piano but if you make it a habit to play every fucking day for at least an hour and a half and you do this over 10 years it's really unlikely that you're not going to be a master piano player it's really unlikely that opportunities are not going to open up for you it's because you made it a habit now it might be difficult to get this habit started it might take you six months even it might take you six months of conscious willpower to get it started. But once it's in your subconscious mind, you don't have to worry about it. It's just there. It's as easy as brushing your teeth. So what you need to do when you're trying to become successful in something, you need to find exactly what is the one habit, just one habit that you need to do every day that will ensure your success. Maybe you want to blow up on YouTube. Perhaps you need to make a video, a good video every single day. Maybe you want to become a professional bodybuilder. Maybe that needs you to hit the gym or work on your nutrition or something along the lines of your physical health every day. You need to find the habits. This way you don't think. This way it just happens. You see, the advice I'm giving here is deceptive in the sense that it is simple. But simple does not mean that it is easy. Creating the initial habit is going to be tough. It's gonna you require you to exert a lot of willpower. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna require a lot of grit on your behalf. But once you have the initial habit, good things can start happening. Exponential growth can start happening in your success because you can then focus your willpower on creating other habits that support the initial habit. And once you start having compounding habits that work together, the synergy is enormous. Take, for example, the man who builds the habit of meditation. He meditates every day now. He's more aware and more mindful and better at making decisions. He uses this benefit from meditation to start exercising. Now he feels a lot better about his health. His longevity has improved. His vitality is much better. Now he takes these two habits and the momentum he has formed through creating these two habits to start reading every day, to start going to seminars. Now he's more cerebral. Now he's more intelligent. 
more calculating and the success spills over into his workplace into his financial gains in life as you can see the habits start compounding and your success starts becoming inevitable so you need to find the habits to support you and start collecting them and start compounding them success is not easy but it is simple it's a game of habits I'm going to show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bang, boom. That's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!